let's see what's coming your way nine of wands in reverse and the six of cups we let our guard down because they are our soulmate there are emotions involved right six of cups body mind and soul connection three of swords we let go of hurt and pain and heartbreak because of love right we heal through love it's a beautiful energy nine of wands in reverse with the queen of swords maybe a gemini libra or aquarius you are dealing with but this is also the clarity of the mind we know we have a strong bond you know the mind is telling you the magician nine of wands in reverse and the magician we have the tools to let go of hurt we have the tools um you know to take a leap of faith nine of wands is the energy of i decide to trust you i've been hurt in the past but now i decide to trust you nine of wands in reverse ten of wands in reverse putting the burdens down putting the baggage down uh, whatever we pull from the past the sense of responsibility of guilt of sacrifice we put all of it down two of swords we think about it we contemplate we know we get more and more clarity by thinking about it so scorpio let's see the uh the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time the most important one ace of swords in reverse and the four of cups and here you show up in reverse kind of like we do have the ten of swords in reverse we we are really healing something but we um scorpio ace of swords in reverse right we don't quite yet know something and the universe is kind of saying you might not be looking at the right thing right four of cups that is that is an offer right in front of you that is an opportunity that is something that you need to see and you are not seeing it and because you are not seeing it you might be a little bit confused ace of swords in reverse and your energy is upside down and you might feel emotionally empty because maybe your uh, focus, your whole focus is on something else and not on what needs to be seen. So let's see what needs to be seen. That's our question for the reading, right? Let's see what, need, what needs to be seen and, and revealed here. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual you get three lots coming your way okay so let's see um scorpio let's see so in the past on your side we have the eight of cups and the eight of pentacles what's going on maybe for some of you eight is a very important energy um but it feels like walking away from effort you know it's like deciding i am done and i'm not going to put all that effort or i'm not going to focus on this you know it it also has the uh the energy of emotional detachment because of lack of effort so i don't know if this is your person not putting the effort and at some point throwing your hands in the air and saying you know what if they are not i'm going to you know go into a little bit of retreat i'm gonna step back i'm gonna have some peace of mind i'm gonna emotionally detach or i'm gonna stop observing right it has an energy of turning your back um you know because of somebody's uh, level of effort you know but when we turn our back, that is something we don't see, right? Because everything is happening behind the scenes. And I kind of feel we disconnected emotionally. And um, and guess what? What happened? This person has uh, your energy, uh, the death and the nine of pentacles. I kind of feel they asked for an ending um, here because they have the ending energy and the single card, right? Uh, focusing on themselves on their health on their wealth um well-being stability independence of some sort you know uh, letting go of something moving on towards something else and um you know trying to or uh, you know vowing to be independent so um let's see mutual energies between the two of you we do have the two of cups and the three of cups so might have been a separation and we had the reunion too in the past out of love out of 
uh, we need to be happy. Maybe our it, it looks like a happy reunion because of love, but it took an ending, right? It took somebody to disconnect emotionally and the other person to focus on what was important in order for your connection to come back and be, um, you know, uh, be happy again. It's very interesting. I don't know who made the effort. Maybe it was you, Scorpio. We do have the Eight of Pentacles on your side. Maybe you decide to, um, you know, to put the effort into this reunion uh, because this person, we have them quite independent, um, standing tall, you know, and, and quite determined. Uh, but then they also transformed in the process and transformed because of love. Two of Cups and the Three of Cups, right? And this is your energy. So it's kind of like um, you bringing the emotional um, side, the beautiful emotional side on this and um, the sensitivity and, you know, the uh, being vulnerable and, um, and nurturing and emotionally kind to this person. Now, where are we right now? We do have the judgment in reverse and the king of wands. So if you are dealing with a fire sign, I'm pretty sure you are really, um, you know, convinced that they are lacking judgment when it comes to connection, putting the effort, dedication, um, you know, decision making, decision making process, um, a need for, for transformation in some sort and a need for um, a judgment day, an awakening day, right? Um, Scorpio, we feel that it has this energy of somebody's not paying attention and we are going through fundamental transformations and they are not making the right decision. They are not in their best mind right now. Now this person of yours, they do have the Empress and the Hermit, Virgo energy, uh, Taurus Libra energy, but they are quiet. They are quiet. They are quietly going through a personal, very personal journey. It might involve uh, the mother of their children, the father of their children. This can be your energy. And, um, and they are in retreat, right? We have the death in the past, which is again your energy, and we have them in the hermit mode. Kind of a confirmation that this is their energy. Somebody is staying quiet and not seeing the blessing in front of them right and we might feel a little bit upside down because of it um it's not an ordinary disconnection right it's not an ordinary disconnection it's um, really for them to understand something to um, draw some conclusions to understand what happened um going through past lessons and I feel there is an empress involved in the process. Again, can be you, can be somebody else, if there is a mother of their children, the father of their children. Somebody is going into deep silence and um, deep analysis, right, of what's going on. Mutual energy is between the two of you. We do have the strength in reverse and we do have the star Aquarius and Leo energy. But this is the energy of one being furious and one being in healing mode, meditating, do not disturb me kind of mode, you know? And I kind of feel that on your side, we are, you are a little bit Scorpio, a little bit uh, reactive, right? Um, because we consider them lacking judgment at this time or the way they handle the situation. Feels like they are not using their higher self and their best decision uh, making uh, wits and smarts, right? Um, and the universe is kind of saying, you know what, they needed this for stability and, um, and knowledge, right? The hermit, lessons and, and a deeper understanding. It has a meaning. Every time we see the hermit, we know it has a meaning and it comes from within. And they are going through this process. And a confirmation again, we do have the stars. Somebody is healing, thinking, aligning. And we have somebody with a strength in reverse going furious and frustrated for what's going on. The strength in reverse is maybe moments of weakness, but I kind of feel it's a bit of anger and a bit of judgment towards them um, or them towards you, by the way, right? Um, because of what's going on. And we have somebody meditating and aligning with the star and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, right at the core of the reading, right? So I love this. And it's mutual energy, uh, which can also mean that both of you, you go to extremes, you know, moments of anger and frustration with moments of I have to come back into balance that is light at the end of the tunnel. 
So moving forward and coming your way, we have them wanting to talk because they change their perspective. We have the hermit and we know we had it on their side and the hanging man. New perspective, new understanding, awakening and a need to say something. A need to talk, a need to break the silence. They went within and boy, they have a lot of conclusions, right? That's energy, Virgo energy. Also, and speaking of coming back, we do have the Eight of Cups. And it's interesting, you have their energy, they have your energy, which is kind of interesting. Um, because, you know, um, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, a very passionate connection. And you had the Eight of Cups in the past, and now they have the Eight of Cups in reverse coming their way. They just want to come back, and they are so passionate about you, but they needed that time. Can be a fire sign, strong energy of an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm not sure the fire in them allows them to see um, everything, right? That's the Four of Cups, right? They might, uh, at this moment, they look quite confused and, and needing all that time. And coming their way, it has this new perspective and light. Light with a hanging man and light with a star energy. Honestly, a deep transformation there. Mutual energies between the two of you, Page of Cups, Apologies and Emotions. We do have the Seven of Pentacles. They can't wait to express their emotions and apologies. And the Ace of Wands stopping you a little bit on the breaks, but wanting a passionate new beginning, both of you. They so feel like talking. Um, Scorpio energy coming your way. I do believe that um, end of December will kind of um, make them in um, deep conversations kind of mode here because the hermit is a deep conversation. Uh, yep. Passionately coming back. Eight of Cups with the Queen of Wands is like, boy, I have a purpose. I have to go back to my Scorpio. That is a purpose in it and I finally understand it, right? So let's ask for some guidance. The question is always the same. Should I say yay? Should I say nay? Some food for thought. We have the page of cups. We had the two of cups in the past. So emotions are slowly evolving. More positive, right? Acknowledging actually the wisdom from reflection. I love this. I really love this. So should we say yay? Should we say nay? The universe is saying it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We have keep an open mind. They might be different. They might be coming from a different um, culture, environment, religion, uh, state of mind, frame of mind, um, values and morals, right? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We do have retreat. It's time to disconnect right it says from the world i disagree we have expressed your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture and bottom of the deck calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so i feel scorpio that you are guided right in their arms over here they are your soulmate express your love it is safe it is okay but it requires a little bit of retreat and, a, and an open mind. They might be different. They might be, they might be needing time and space. Um, a bit of a deeper understanding for how they are, um, for how different they are from you. Okay. And we do have the judgment in reverse. We, we might be judging them harshly. Um, you know, when actually you know, we might be judging something we don't understand. I'm just saying, it looks like it. So, you tell me. Um, so, Scorpio, let's see what else is there for us. We do have inner peace. So, stay at peace. It is safe for you to love them. What else? The Rainbow Reviver. We need to bring some spice back. Keep an open mind and um, do something, right? To make this connection a little bit more happy and spicy. We do have yin and yang, so you complete each other. That is a sense of harmony. That is a sense of um, beautiful uh, merging masculine and feminine energies. We have retreat and yin and yang. Again, a sense of peace. 
So, Divine Feminine, probably Scorpio Divine Feminine, please express your love, right? Be kind, be loving. And bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate, spiritual maturity. So we know that is a soulmate bond over here. And we are ascending from a 3D to 5D. It feels like this connection. And there is so much love, Scorpio. I know you love them, but I do believe you are also loved. And the universe is kind of confirming this is a very yin and yang energy between the two of you. That is divine feminine, so stay at peace. They are moving towards spiritual maturity at this time. Um, it's a beautiful journey for them, but it's uh, not an easy one, right? So let's see what energies we need to put back into the flow. And we do have surrender to receiving support and love. So allow the, the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. And again, it is safe for you to love and surrender to receiving support and love. That is a strong message for somebody out there. I'm saying, you, you know, it's okay to love them and it's okay to allow them to love you. And stay at peace. That is an energy of stay at peace. You are loved. We do have empathy, so I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. And we do have judgment, right? Right now we might be again in some form of judgment and the universe is saying, is asking you to be empathetic about the situation, this person, the way you handle it, the way you both handle. A confirmation that that is love and also encouraging you to act from a place of love. And put love back into the flow. And you do have it express your love and love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I kind of feel, Scorpio, we have homework. And the universe is kind of reassuring you in so many ways. They love you. So let's be patient and empathetic. And um, surrender to the wisdom of your body. Right? Your intuition is telling you the right thing. So listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. And the bottom of the deck, we have responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. Um, and Scorpio, I want to show you something. Responsibility and love. Okay. Somebody is guided to be very responsible when it comes to this love or come from a place of a serious involvement and um, and empathy in the way we handle this person and love and the responsibilities we have uh, towards each other. Now, um, and you can ask for help. You are guided here, right? Surrender to receiving support and love if it's too difficult, right? And uh, we need to figure out a couple of things. It's okay to ask for support. Maybe now is the time. For some of you, it's the universe saying, now it's the time. Um, you know, maybe you, you handled this by yourself for so long, and now it's time to have someone to guide you, to listen to you, right? Uh, to find solutions together. Let's have some general guidance before we say goodbye. And we do have music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So maybe you have, you are an artist, a musician, and the universe is kind of saying that is something here for you or this reading is for you. We do have strength, or maybe the music will bring you the strength you need. So everything you, you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. I love this. A kind reminder, right? We are strong. And we have justice, strength, justice, and music. Have fun, you know, do the right thing and stay strong, I kind of feel. Um, so Scorpio, your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So you are guided to do the right thing, to stay strong. And when we have time, have a little bit of music. Just saying, that is a strong energy here for someone, right? Um, so hey. Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.